Kelly used to keep his longboards and skateboards out here in the hall or in other common areas leaning against the wall. But for the last year and a half, they've been kept in the garage and I've missed them. I love them being out here. But Kelly had to pick them up all the time when he had to vacuum. And I can understand that. So he's going to hang them on the hallway wall, which you can see from most other areas in the house. And that gets them off the floor and out of our other areas where we do most of our work. You can see our full studio renovations on the Squid Shot channel. Link is in the description below. He was just going to paint the whole hallway white and put black planks of wood up to hang the skateboards on. And that would have been really cool with our black kitchen. But how great would it be to paint a painting behind the skateboards? What fun! of Yvonne doing the mural work in the hallway, I went ahead and threw up a black line here. It didn't need to be clean or anything, but it just needed to demark where this board was going to be lying on the wall. So that way she knew to stay away from this area. What on earth am I going to paint in the hallway behind the skateboards with a huge line going through the middle? I know I want to do my ribbon-y light wave thingy down here and a character up here. Wait, a character? I don't do a lot of people in my art. Well, here's a real challenge, and it's gonna be big and permanent on my walls. We're gonna look for some images and concepts online. Hmm, this dude is cool, but maybe not a guy committing Harry Carey but I kind of like the concept and layout. All right, this is closer. I'll start working with her and see what happens. I've decided I love the landscape, but there is something about the girl I'm just not digging. Too skinny, not feminine enough, too feminine. Oh, uh, let's keep looking. Okay, there's a beautiful strong character, Homera from Eden Zero. Let's have her kneeling with a sword in the ground, but more of a straight on catacorn pose, and she's done. We'll use the background concept from this one. And priming the wall with Utrecht gesso. Start with white. You add a few drops of red to get a nice pink. And then you add a few drops of green until you get the skin tone you're looking for.
These colors were so perfect right out of the jar. Creating the supporting colors from the palette was pretty easy too. I'll do a full review of the paint and brushes in an upcoming video. gorgeous and I'm going to love seeing her every day and I've learned a lot from doing this first part of the painting 
mostly that I can do whatever it is I want to do, no matter the subject or the medium. If I want to try something, go for it. And if you want to try something, go for it. Check out the next section of this mural in our next video. Thank you for joining us here at Buy Paint Pastels. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and we'll see you right back here on the first Friday of every month. Check out my website and use the links below for any art supplies you might need. Most importantly, get out there and keep doing art because life's a medium.